In a very significant development, the DRDO has conducted the first developmental trial of the 1000 km range near Bay cruise missile fitted with an indigenous 450 kg force manic small turbofan engine developed by DRDO's gas turbine research establishment. The indigenous engine performed as expected, and DRDO officials have said that more tests will be conducted to master the new technology. The nearby land attack cruise missile is already deployed in limited numbers with Russian Saturn 36 MT mini turbofan engine, but today's successful test of their missile system with the indigenous engine and an upgraded RF seeker will help to increase the level of indigenization and significantly reduce the cost of their missile system. At a time when the Indian Air Force has started the paperwork for the procurement of 36 more Rafale fighters, the Indian Air Force chief has said that Indian Air Force now has an edge on both the western and northern fronts to react fast respond fast and hit fast, and that the induction of Rafale fighter jets has helped in bringing the next level of operational transformation. He also said that the operational offensive capability has gone up in terms of having long-distance air-to-ground weapons and carrying out precision strikes and possessing network-centric environment. The Indian Air Force has built one of the world's highest mobile air traffic control towers at the advanced landing ground in eastern Ladakh region, that is controlling operations of the Rafale fighter jet MiG-29 UPG fighters drones and helicopters operating in the strategic region. India is also considering multiple options of developing three new airfields in eastern Ladakh region, which are at a distance of few minutes from the line of actual control with China. Cochin Shipyard Limited in association with the Directorate of Naval Design has offered to construct and deliver a sister class ship of the INS Vikrant in the next seven years, that will come with more than 76% indigenous content as expertise and local ecosystem has been created. The Indian Navy which was strongly against the construction of a sister ship of the INS Vikrant, is now reconsidering its position due to the rapid construction pace of the Chinese aircraft carriers, that might see at least one permanent carrier strike group deployment in Indian Ocean region by 2025. An Israeli origin searcher reconnaissance drone operated by Indian Air Force has crash landed in Punjab, and police officials have stated that the drone belonged to the Jammu base of the Indian Air Force, but the control on the drone was lost due to a technical snag. China and Russia have launched a large-scale strategic military exercise in northwest China, that saw the deployment of J-20 stealth fighter jets H-6K bombers and Y-20 transport aircraft, and the appearance of the fifth-generation aircraft shows that the military cooperation exchange and mutual trust between China and Russia have reached a very high level. The exercise includes electronic warfare and joint strike components, new concepts and tactics for airborne landing and seizure of in-depth hostile regions and swarm drone operations. Australia is keen to invite India to join its exercise Talisman Sabre in 2023, and a formal invite will be extended during Australian Defence Minister's visit to India in September. The exercise Talisman Sabre is the biggest multinational combat exercise that is held in every two years in Australia, that sees the participation of more than 17,000 troops of coalition forces consisting of Royal Marine Commandos, United States Army, United States Marine Corps, the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force, and the Australian Defense Force. The Indian Army is giving final touch to the integrated battle groups, and the aim is to firm up two integrated battle groups by the end of September. In the first phase, two integrated battle groups will operate on the western borders with Pakistan, and one group will operate along the northern borders with China. Reflecting growing bilateral and defence ties, Indian Navy warship INS Kochi is currently participating in the first naval exercise with the naval warships of Saudi Arabia. 
Indian Navy frigate INS Tabor is also participating in a maritime partnership exercise with the Royal Norwegian Navy's Storm Corvette, and a range of operations like surface maneuvers, search and seizure exercises and vertical replenishment by helicopter are being exercised. India is unlikely to heed any request from the Afghanistan government for active military support from Indian Air Force, amid the Taliban's rapid advances in the country. Government sources have said that any active Indian military intervention in Afghanistan is not being considered at any level, and the focus is to ensure that peace is maintained through dialogue. Omar